Hello students. Today we are going to learn the next topic of chapter 3 in layers and outliers. Let us see what do you mean by in layers and outliers and their examples. <music> Coming to inlayer, an inlayer is an area of older rocks which is mainly surrounded by the younger rocks. What are younger rocks? Recent formed rocks. Okay. These inlayers are typically formed by the erosion of what of the overlying younger rocks to reveal a very limited exposure of the older underlying rocks. Here the older underlying rocks are exposed very limitedly. Okay, faulting or folding may also contribute to the observed outcrop pattern. Let me repeat, what are the other two things which are going to affect? Faulting or folding may also contribute, may also contribute to the observed outcrop pattern okay so let us see like what are the example coming to next thing that is example a classic example is taken from the great britain where the inlayer of folded ordovician and silurian rocks these are the different type of rocks at horton and rebels dal in north yorkshire which are generally surrounded by the younger flat lying carboniferous limestone so these are nothing but the younger flat lying carboniferous limestone also the location has long been visited by geology students and also the experts another example is from south wales is the usk layer in monmouthshire where silurian age rocks are upfolded amidst old red sandstone rocks of Devonian age. Okay, what is another example? Let me repeat. Another example from South Wales. Okay, South Wales in the Usk in Lyre. In Monmouth Shire here also where Silurian age rocks here also the same rocks okay Silurian plus Ordovician these are the type of rocks Silurian age rocks are upfolded okay are upfolded admist means against old red sandstone rocks okay as we already discussed the older rocks will get upfolded by the younger forming rocks rocks of which age devonian age no older age okay coming to the outlier what do you mean by an outlier conversely an outlier is an area of younger rock which is completely surrounded by the older rocks okay here it is an older rock surrounded by the younger rock but it is conversely area of the younger rock surrounded by the older rock okay an outlier is typically formed when sufficient erosion of surrounding rocks has been taken place to serve the younger rocks original continuity with a larger mass of the same younger rocks nearby this is what happens in the outlier how they are formed let me repeat and outlier is typically form when sufficient erosion of sufficient erosion of surrounding rocks has taken place okay surrounding rocks has taken place to serve the younger rocks original continuity original 
continuity with a larger mass with a larger mass of the same younger rocks nearby okay of the same younger rocks nearby what are younger rocks recently formed rocks what is the example example is like um, it is taken from the great britain it is nothing but the mass of triassic sandstone which is around the staffordshire town of leek okay this is isolated from the very much larger area of rosaic rocks when characterize the english midlands and also cheshire basin to the south and west respectively these are also surrounded by carboniferous sandstones and also the mudstones this is a classic example okay you have to remember thank you